everybody, I'm Andrea from ConfidentMassage.com. As a licensed massage therapist and a licensed esthetician, from time to time I do makeup applications in my job description as an esthetician. Here in Las Vegas, typically estheticians are hired at the major resort spas to do makeup applications, although cosmetologists would also be allowed to do them. Um, if, if you do just want to find a position at a makeup counter or a makeup specific store, you don't necessarily need to be an esthetician. So look into what specific outlets are looking for as far as license, licensing and qualifications. All right, so I do want to talk a little bit about estheticians and makeup application. There are two basic groups of estheticians, those that love doing makeup and those that avoid it like the plague. Luckily, I've always been in the category that loves to do it. I think it helped that I grew up in a very artistic household and I haven't been afraid to experiment with it. I, I have a genuine interest in it, so that definitely helps a lot with anything in life. For the second group of estheticians, those that avoid makeup applications like the plague, I'm not saying that you don't need a certain amount of skill to do makeup well, but I think if you can get a good handle on makeup application basics, that it will go a long way in giving estheticians who don't love doing makeup the confidence to maybe start to like it a little bit or at least feel more comfortable with it. Uh, obviously my website is confidentmassage.com. I think if you can build your confidence in uh, most areas of life that you'll just generally be more successful and a happier person. So, people often ask me, how did you learn how to do makeup? Like I said, trial and error, being interested in it, trying things and not being afraid was the biggest thing. Uh, during my aesthetics program we had a ton of fun doing photo shoots every so often. It wasn't hard to find models because if they could end up with even just one really cool photo to put on, at that time MySpace was popular, their MySpace profile, I guess nowadays it would be their Facebook profile pic, um, then it was definitely worth it for them and it was fun to do. So trial and error, and then during my aesthetics program, I devoured Kevin O'Quan's books. This one is Face Forward, he also has Making Faces, he also has The Art of Makeup. Face Forward and Making Faces were extremely valuable tools to me during my aesthetics program. I read them cover to cover, cover several times over, I still refer to them today. Uh, Kevin O'Quan was an amazing makeup artist. He loved what he did, he really did, um, he shared his knowledge with complete generosity and selflessness and it's a quality I admire, I think it's fantastic and extremely useful to all of us uh, when, we, when we're blessed with having somebody like that in our lives. Kind of like Massage Nerd, right? So Kevin O'Quan books, Face Forward and Making Faces, learned a lot from those. And when Kevin O'Quan wrote his books in the 90s primarily, airbrush makeup wasn't, uh, wasn't commonplace. So, but now it is. It's very popular for bridal makeup and it really is fantastic. If you have the right product to use and the right equipment, airbrush makeup, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty basic as far as applying foundation. You can get crazy with it, but most makeup applications in a spa or salon setting won't require anything too outside of the norm. That being said, Temp2 Pro Airbrush Makeup 101 DVD. I did learn a lot about Airbrush Makeup Basics from this DVD and I do highly recommend it. So we've got our Temp2 Pro Airbrush Makeup 101 DVD, Trial and Error, Not Being Afraid to Try Things, and pretty much any book by the fabulous Kevin O'Quan. Thank you guys. See you later.